Well, the news cycle is moving so fast, I don't even care. I looked at that sarcastic thing, that self-congratulatory post. It was, you know, I mean, it's insane, you know, patting himself on the back. He really should be ashamed. But I just found out. So I talked about this on your show, and they just played a clip. This is this is live. This just happened. They just played a clip from our show yesterday talking about how I had a friend that I've known for 15 years at Barstool, a guy named Ben Mintz. He called me yesterday to tell me that he kind of talked bad about me to, uh, you know, Dave on his podcast, basically not even being on my side, being on Dave's side. And Dave found out they played the clip of that. Now Dave is firing the guy. He just tweeted out that he's firing this this poor guy from Louisiana just for knowing me. And the guy even defended uh, Dave. So this shows you how petty and cowardice uh, Dave Portnoy is. And it's not over. And he has some sort of fetish for talking about uh, genitals and people's mouth. I don't know why he goes to that. And then he goes with the, the personal insult the digs when listen the guy's five foot two he's talking about you know you and i can lose weight he couldn't ever grow it doesn't matter how much steroids he takes yeah uh, you know you're always going to be a, a dwarf uh, dave hold for a second are you being you really this believe real. he Th- has fired your friend he just tweeted out that they're looking for a replacement. Now they're talking about it. Yes, he's potentially in the guy. My buddy's Ben Mintz. You know, I call him my buddy. I'm nice on the podcast. He goes, you're friends with him. He goes, well, that's a strong word. First of all, Ben and I have known each other for a long time. We have mutual friends that are very close to both of him and I. And now Ben is melting down. He's had about five tweets saying how sorry he is. And and this is Dave's M.O. because Dave can't punish me. He's punishing one of his employees for just having uh, an an. Not even we're not even really friends. I mean, we know each other. I, I would say he's my friend because I'll call anybody my friend. But just even having an association with me, this guy's about to lose his job, his dream job at that. All because Dave Portnoy is the most petty man on earth. Hold for a sec. I, I'm looking at the tweet. Look at the response. Hiring for new position at Barstool. Job title: King of the South. Job requirements: Cover the SEC and actually work. See, I went to LSU. Uh, that's how I know Ben. Ben went to Ole Miss. And that's how we know each other. We have mutual friends. And so now they want to fire him. And, and Dave Portnoy is so petty and callous that he's going to fire a guy that had Dave's back. He didn't even have my back. He called me to tell me that he was going to trash me and that it is what it is. I mean, it really, he just kind of laid it on the line. I think the, the only reason Ben said that is because Ben and I will interact with each other. Ben and I you know, Ben just said he hadn't seen me in 10 years. Well, he, he saw me about four or five years ago. But that's neither here nor there. My point being is that Ben knows that he runs in a small enough circle where the, our circles will overlap. Now, Dave and I might not necessarily overlap for a while. But if I want to go ingratiate myself in Ben's life, that would be very easy. So Ben's realizing that I'm an Internet troll. Ben doesn't want me to give him the smoke. He doesn't want the Afghan Kush from Primetime 99 Alex Stein. He can't handle that. So now he's got his tail between his legs apologizing to uh, Dave Portnoy. And it's just sad. I feel guilty, honestly. And Dave, if they're watching this, because they just played our clip on their show. They just played it, Jason. Dave, if you're watching this, please do not fire Ben. He's not even a close friend. He's an acquaintance of mine. He does not deserve to lose Spell his job. Spell Ben's last name. I need to, and so I can find tweets from Ben as well? Yeah, go to Mincy. I think you type in M-I-N-T-Z-Y. It should come up. Uh, it, it's his, uh, his yeah, it's, it's uh, Barstool, at Barstool Mincy. Mincy, his, Bar, uh, Barstool Mincy. Yeah, I'm surprised. Oh, it, I think I've seen that guy before. Oh, maybe not. I thought it older guy. Well, Let's you've see seen here. him. And, and, and you know, it's funny because Dave. Imme- this, this is a publicity stunt. This I don't buy. My immediate no, response not. to allegations. No, it's not. Did I call Stein? Yes, I did. But I did. But I did it to back up Stuhl president and Barstool against him. That was clearly a huge mistake. But I did it to back up my boss and my company. I am sick right now. This is the biggest misunderstanding. I literally called Stein back to back up Dave against him, and now I'm going to go down for having my bosses back. I'm literally sick right now and want to cry. Yes, I made a mistake making that phone call, but I was backing up my boss. I never... Look, I, this is a publicity stunt because I don't think they can... This guy would have him over a barrel if he's getting I fired agree. for calling you. He would have him I over a barrel. I, I don't think... A lot of legal ramifications, but this is Dave Portnoy who has sex tapes of him choking girls out with an extension cord or with a phone cord. Have you seen that? Have you known about any of his sex tapes, Jason? I've heard something about Didn't Business Insider cover that? 
Well, not not just the sexual allegations. He has leaked sex tapes. You can find it on the internet of him with a woman fornicating while he's choking her with a telephone cord. That's out there. That's that. And he's had other ones leaked too. So Dave Portnoy is not some sort of uh, you know moral high moral character guy. And we're going to get into our rankings, but this is obvious that he would even fire somebody that works at And he had the guy on his podcast because he knew that he knew me. And now he's doubling down because Dave's getting crushed. He did that stupid uh, press release and got crushed for that. So now he's just trying to punish Ben, knowing that I'll probably feel guilty. And I do feel guilty. To be honest, I do. If Ben loses his job, which I hope he doesn't, I will feel bad and I hope that doesn't motivate him to fire him. But yeah, I'll feel totally guilty that Ben doesn't deserve to lose his job in Manhattan, you know, barely making it.